Hi guys, welcome back to the channel. So we're back on the Pomodic software. This is sort of not quite video two, but Fence released some information that I had no clue about. So I wanted to show you in my settings. So my settings here show the steps frequency 25 kilohertz and 147.638 velocity inches a minute. <clears throat> That's the best I could ever do with Mach 3. And they warn you in Mach 3 not to change this because they said, you know, can create computer instability. Well, I'm gonna run my machine, my x-axis, and I'm gonna show you what it's like with the direct Mach 3 settings. Now I will say for sure, this machine <clears throat> runs faster than any 6040 machine you'll ever find on the internet. So we turn the box on. Okay, cancel. We'll do this without any editing. Say so we're on. So let's see, we're, okay. <clears throat> so technically I'd like to be able to go 10 seconds and see how many inches I can run in 10 seconds. But I think we may run out of time. So let's do this. Six, seven, eight, nine. So roughly that's in 10 seconds is about 22, because I almost run out. I'm about to hit the limit. <coughs> So we're at, you know, 140, 150 inches a minute. Now I guarantee you, when I make this change, I will not be able to get to five seconds. This is amazing, watch this. So I'm gonna shut that off. Come up here, settings. And I think in his video he said like 585. Calculates at 99.060. Technically can go to 100. Hit apply. And okay. Now, I was completely shocked by this. So I'm gonna stand up and get the camera ready and get my finger on the button. And we're gonna go. Ready, go. So that's like three or four seconds. This is amazing. So that's what Pomodics will do for you. <laughs> I had no clue that these motors that I had gotten from Vince could do this. And I, I was happy with 140 because the best I could do with a tan box 6040 was about 30 to 40 inches a minute. And we'll do the math later, but right now I was so shocked at how fast this machine goes now. <clears throat> now mind you, I can still tell it to cut at 20 inches a minute. But when it goes for rapids, or if I hit home, that's the reason that <clears throat> I have limit switches because even at the Mach 3 settings, if I hit home, it takes it takes longer than I want to go over and home itself out. So rather than working with uh, um, machine coordinates, I always work with work coordinates. Well, when you use work coordinates, your soft limits are off the table because the machine don't know where it's at. Now I understand now that Pomodics remembers where it's at. So as long as you don't go cranking the carriage after you shut it off, when you turn it back on, it should know where it's at. So now I need to find a way, let's do all the setup and get my soft limits working. But this speed is ridiculous. I had no clue this machine could run this fast. So anyway, a little short video. I thought you guys would uh, enjoy seeing probably one of the fastest 6040s out on the internet if you got one faster i'd love to see the video but 
I've done a lot of research on 6040s. And up until I made this change, I had the fastest one out there. And I definitely got the fastest one now. So make the switch. You'll love the software. If you're interested in the software, you can contact me. Uh, I have an email address, my6040cnc at gmail.com. Or contact Vince at e-dealers uh, e direct. <clears throat> um, I can get you in touch with him. Um, or go to his YouTube channel. But anyhow, quick video. Thanks for watching. If you like what you see, subscribe. And I'm sure that I'll be posting more Pimotics videos in the future. Thanks for watching.